Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how you can create this cool little button effect so that when you, whenever you hover over a button it will change its color to a darker version of that color very smoothly. Also, before this video starts, uh, I want you guys to f follow me on Twitter if you want. I post uh, little things that I make and also I need you guys to leave me some suggestions in the comment section because I am running out of video ideas. Before this video starts, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available in my Patreon in the $10 tier. With that being said, let's start. Okay, so what I have here is a simple setup with a screen GUI named main and an image button and a couple of text buttons. Uh, by the way, whenever you create these, make sure that uh, you select all of your buttons and make sure that the property called auto button color is unchecked. And what I'm going to do is go to star player and I'm going to add a module script. And I'm going to rename this module script to um, button effect, button effect. And what I'm going to do at the top is get some services, so local uh tween tween local tween service is equal to game convert service tween service and that's the only actually we now also need the player service so local players is equal to game convert service players and then i'm going to create a variable for, uh, an integer for the uh fade duration or maybe fade speed and I'm going to change it to 0 0.8 or 0. yes 0 0.8 and I'm going to have another integer for um for the darken amount so local darken amount is equal to and it will be 70 and then I'm going to create a reference to the player so local player or local PLR is equal to players, the local player, and local uh, player GUI is equal to player, calling with a child player GUI, and local main or local screen GUI, and set, it, set this to your main screen GUI. For me, it's called main, so I'm going to set it to player GUI, calling with a child main. Make sure that you change this main uh, uh, to whatever your screen GUI is named. So since mine is named main, I'm going to make sure that it's main. Also, what I forgot to mention is make sure that you select your screen GUI and make sure that reset on spawn is unchecked. Okay, so now what I'm going to need is a reference to a module script. So local uh, button hover or maybe hover module is equal to require script dot mouse enter leave or okay script dot hover dot mouse enter uh leave module and what i'm going to do is leave a link in the description for this module it's very useful it's much better than using the default uh uh text button dot mouse leave and mouse enter since uh, those are very glitchy and outdated so get the module in the description i'll show you how it works so here is the module uh, the link will be in the description of course so what you do is just get the module and to use it you just create this variable in here and mouse enter colon connect function and mouse leave colon connect function so what we're going to do is copy this entire script so just copy this module and go back to roblox studio and inside of this button effect i'm going to add another module script and i'm going to call it let's see what he named it so mouse over module so i'm going to call it mouse over module and i'm just going to delete everything and paste in what we just copied now what I'm going to do is require it, so script colon with child uh, mouse over module, and I'm going to change this to mouse over module, 
And then what I'm going to do is uh, create a function called setup. So function module dot setup. And what I'm going to do is loop through the screen GUI. So for underscore comma instance. So int in pairs. Uh, screen GUI can't get children do and what we're gonna do is if uh, not int con is a image but or uh, maybe GUI button then continue so then if it is a GUI button we're just going to continue the loop so if int con is a and uh, image button then what i'm going to do is create a table up here and it will be called original colors and what i'm going to do is original colors uh, square brackets int is equal to and int dot image color three else what we're going to do is original colors square brackets int is equal to and uh, int dot background color three after doing this what i'm going to do is uh use the mouse over module so we're going to go back to the documentation and as you can see, we have to just copy this and I'm going to paste it here. So mouse over module, mouse over module, and I'm just going to change this to int. And I'm going to do mouse enter, call connect function, and mouse leave, call connect function. So inside of the mouse enter event, I'm going to create a tween. So local tween is equal to or local color tween. And we're going to set that to tween service. Come on, create. And uh, as you can see, it takes an instance, which will be our button. And then a tween info, tween info dot new. And just put in the fade uh, speed. And then what i'm going to do is do these uh, brackets here and we're gonna put in uh okay so what i forgot here really sorry about that is i forgot to put in if uh int con is a uh image button then then just copy this and paste it here and what we're gonna do is image uh color 3 is equal to and uh, get darker color and uh, by the way this is a function that we're going to create so get col darker color and um, int dot uh, image color image color 3 now we're going to create this function called get darker color so just copy the name that we just put and before this local module we're going to put a function so local function get darker color and it will take the color and what we're going to do is local h comma s comma v is equal to color uh column two two h s v and then return color three uh return color three dot color three dot from hsv and h comma s comma v minus and uh darken amount darken amount darken amount divided by 255 and since we are returning this that should give us a darker color so what i'm going to do is color tween column play and what i'm going to do is else else if int con is a uh, text button 
then I'm going to copy this color twin and paste it here but instead of doing um, image color dot uh, in dot image color three we're gonna do dot background color three and we're gonna do the same thing here background color three instead of image color three and that should work and i'm going to copy this now and paste it in the mouse leave event but instead of doing uh this instead of getting the darker color what we're gonna do is get do uh original colors square brackets int and that should work now i'm going to do the same thing for if it's an image button so image uh, original colors square brackets int and that should work and now what i'm going to do is uh create a script a local script inside of here inside of star player and I'm going to call it uh, effect and I'm going to drag in this button effect inside of the effect local script and what I'm going to do is local module is equal to require script called for child button effect and I'm going to do module con setup and I'm going to do actually module dot setup sorry and I'm going to put a wait uh, a task dot wait task but wait maybe three seconds and then we'll do this or maybe just two seconds just to wait for everything to load and now if we play the game that should hopefully work so if we view the output no errors and nothing happens when we over hover over something so let's see why that is happening so to do that what I'm going to do is, hmm, okay, so we are looping through the screen GUI, mouse over module, main, okay, so I think what I'm going to do is whenever we enter this, we're going to print entered, and whenever we leave, I'm going to print left just to make sure that this is working okay so i'm going to view the output i touch something and nothing happens so we know that this is not working okay so if not and calling is a gy button then continue okay what I'm going to do is just print int and see if it will call the function. Oh, okay, so I found the solution. I'm just going to put in to put back the task dot wait uh th two seconds. And the solution is that I forgot to put the effect script inside of star player scripts. Now, if you play the game, that should hopefully work. Pretty certain it will work, but we're not really sure. Okay. Player scripts, effects. And it does print. Okay, so it works. It works. As you can see, when we hover over something, it will make the color darker. And then when we leave, it will make it lighter. So, what I'm going to do is get rid of these prints and i'm going to change the fade speed to 0.4 and the darken amount to 100 just to make it a bit more visible now for your game it should be subtle and not too much because i think that is a bit too much and as you can see that looks a lot better than the auto button color property that roblox has and yeah, that's going to be it for today's tutorial. If this was helpful, please make sure to subscribe, check out my Patreon, and share the video with your friends, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!